now let's set our our Django project so that it can recognize sending emails uh, from it to to different uh, emails. For example, you can use uh, you know Django project cannot send an email just like that. It might use a host uh, or a server like like SMTP, uh, the Gmail service, the Google Mail service. Uh, so let's configure. Or you can use the console. But let's configure the SMTP server so that uh, Django can use that. So we are to come to, to the settings, the project, then the settings, and then down here we write um, the previously I made a video on sending an email using Python, but right now Django has its specifics the way it has, so it it might need the email port which is uh, uh, which is five eight seven four let me just copy this uh, let me pause the video and then copy these specifics and I save them here so I've copied them and pasted them in here and um, what we'll need to edit will be um, this to show you how to get uh, the email host user and the default from email which is the same and also the password so that can be like an app password you create in uh, in google mail so you've uh, if you've watched uh, my previous video, you see sending a vid sending an email with Python. You need uh, a host, a port. You need uh, the user, the message, and the rest. But these ones, the host, the port is uh, static. Then, when it comes to use TLS, uh, the transport layer security, it is true. Backends, it is using uh, SMTP instead of console. And then the host user, we can get one uh, by get into gmail you can configure your gmail account and get uh, uh, let's use uh, this one of mine you get there and then you got security and two-step verification yeah. there you log in and you can create an app password Maybe you can call this tutorial 15 and then you copy its password there and then. So it is what you will feed in here. Then you put the name for that password 58. Likewise, this will be the same as the one that the host will use. So this configuration is done in the settings and it's done. And right now, let's get to the URLs and configure the request. The reset upload. I had typed in the request upload, but uh, that should be reset upload like I wrote it. HTML reset approved to html okay so when you're typing in here the reverse lazy you type in the name of the of this of this url you might you might also type in the accounts then uh, reset approved to html but uh, it knows that it will come to this uh, password reset upload when you've typed in this and right now let's uh, confirm that uh, after typing in the name it will uh, send an email and also um, after sending an email it will show us it will take us reverse us to or redirect us to another page which is a reset upload page so if I come and so it shows us it has sent an email and 
then it reverses to this page. So if I come and check uh, that annotation handle, which is the email I have in here, I should I should get a uh, Either I can check in the spam if it is not there at first. So I see it is not yet there at all. And um, what we can do to to get that at hand is to to create another link that is uh, is uh, inheriting sending the confirmation link by using the reset password reset confirm view so it's what I will write in here path then I will say password uh, reset confirm then um, I will need the password confirm view then uh, dot as view and that uh, name I will say reset confirm so reset confirm is uh, perhaps I forgot this comma okay it is what will send us an email but also it should take parameters like uh, UID then encoding base 64 and uh, the token these are parameters that I have to specify in the email because uh, the email should the email should um, have those two parameters uh, so if I come to this email right now reset email has hello let's try things out and see if our hello will be sent to us if we come to this 